Hello guys, my name is Richie and I live on my self-converted sprinter full-time with my dog Bella and my two young daughters on weekends. Welcome to the Wendy Hayes build. I'm so nervous I picked this. <laughs> if I get this wrong and it's too big, I've got to buy a bigger window. by one mil. I can live with that. And the first thing I'm going to be doing to the Wendy Ace build is put the window in the back. Now if I take you inside and show you how I'm going to do all the framework, because the panels are flat, I can't screw anything to the walls like you can in a normal van build because you've got the framework or the structural parts of the van which you can vivid or self tap into the framework here we can't so i'll take you inside and i'll show you what's going on okay so inside the trailer it's a 12 foot long six foot wide six and a half foot tall so i'm getting my daughters in the van <laughs> they're in there for five minutes so the whole point of this wendy ace build is because we live in the van full time this will be my daughter's bedroom playroom and their own little bathroom because on a rainy day where we can't go out we're all confined in the camper and we're squabbling in a small space you turn out then you turn out then etc etc so this is going to be their room and they love it we went away on the weekends and they would just spend hours and hours and hours in here and it was lovely and peace and quiet for me in the camper so anyway i have to construct a two inch, a two by two, or a 50 mil by 50 mil framework all the way around the van. Using some strong glue. And the reason why I've gone for two by two is because I can get two inches of insulation inside and then cladding over the top. So what I'm gonna do with a two by two is some strong glue, stick it to the walls, and then screw it all together but i'm also adding my measurements i'm adding an extra two mil or so i can tap it in tight and now we're squashed against the walls the timber will be screwed into each other using l brackets <coughs> using l brackets to screw it all in lock it tight into the walls all the way around so I can't screw into the wall because it's only three quarter inch ply. So here's the window I'm going to be putting in today. I found this on Marketplace, cheap as chips, it's brand spanking new. It was bought by someone else, it was the wrong measurements. So we was selling it cheap. Makes no difference to us what measurements it is because we can build it bespoke exactly how we want to so I got a real cheap it's like a modern day sash window it's got the original keys and lock oh, wrong way around so yeah I thought that's a nice find because the bathroom will be going across the back okay with a shower the original roof is coming off and I'm having an apex roof fabricated on top so it's going to give us more head height storage and also the shower head will go up into the apex but anyway all that's to come in the next videos but today let's just put that day i'm so nervous about this <laughs> if i get this wrong and it's too big i've got to buy a bigger window so i've measured it 20 times marked it so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the window. Okay, okay, let's do it.
<laughs> There's no going back now. Woo. Oh, oh, oh. I'm eight by one mil. I can live with that. Nice and snug. Right, okay, the window's in, it's nice and tight. I haven't screwed the window to the framework yet. I'm gonna tidy up this edge. See this edge is a bit scruffy. So I bought this bit of trim, and that's gonna go, it's gonna go to one end. There, anyway, that's gonna go like that, nice and neat. That's what I got, so we're gonna measure, make sure this trim fits all the way around first, nice and neat. And then, when it does, I can screw the window to the frame, shit loads of adhesive uh, glue on the trim, stick it on, job done. Sounds easy, <laughs> it's fucking not. It's about faff. Two more years, three more years, two more years. I'm glad I'm a landscaper, not a fucking window fitter. Fuck the windows. <laughs> okay, let's get it done. Okay, so that's all the framework. I can solid, solid framework. Now I've just got to go back outside now, <clears throat> double check that trim sits nice. When it does, I'll come back in and screw the window to the framework. Job done. It even opens this way. I didn't even know about that. <laughs>